Introducing first, a company to the ring by James Bronson from Montel, Russia, weighing in at 190 pounds, Peter Orlov. Welcome back to FCW. You see Peter Orlov with, I guess, his new bodyguard, James Bronson. I still don't think we've had a definitive description or an explanation as to why James Bronson is coming out with Peter Orlov. What do you know about this, Leo? All I know is that Bronson seems to be some sort of enforcer for Orlov. He's a hired gun of sorts. And his opponent, from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 255 pounds, Leaki. Leaki making his way to the ring. I am very impressed with Leaki's progress thus far in FCW. This guy's been getting it done. But he's going to face quite a challenge tonight. Not only does he have to pay attention to Peter Orloff, he's got to pay attention, have eyes in the back of his head, as James Bronson is certainly, I got to think he's going to be some kind of factor, at least a mind game in this matchup. Bronson could definitely be the difference maker in this matchup. You know, what Orloff lacks in size, what he lacks in stature, he makes up for in his cagey and cunning rest ways. He's sneaky. You gotta have eyes on your back of your head with Orlov. Peter Orlov is technically proficient like few others here in FCW. However, Peter Orlov is giving up 60 pounds to Leaki. So this is gonna come down to who's oh. oh man! I don't know what it's gonna come down to after that elbow, turning Orlov inside out. Leaki, nice God. elevation on that drop kick. James Bronson didn't look too happy about that one. Bronson looking worried on the outside. I was going to say, Leaki's only been in FCW a handful of months. And he, Peter Orlov has traveled the world. Moscow, Russia is where he is from. That is where he trained. But he's performed and competed in Mexico as well. He's honed his craft all over the world. He's got a wealth of experience. But can that overcome the size and strength of Leaki? Well, that's what he's got to rely on, his experience. Oh, man, dropkick right on the bridge of the nose. Wow. And Bronson looking on. He's got to be happy about that exchange. You're seeing the snap in the move of Peter Orlov. You see how efficient he is with his movement. The kicks, the strikes, they all find the mark. He has a non-stop offense. He just stays on his man. No! Oh. Orlov, a machine in the ring at times. James Bronson looking on, you see that. What he's looking for, I really don't know. Like I said, we haven't received a satisfactory explanation, in my opinion, as to why James Bronson, why Peter Orlov feels the need to have James Bronson at ringside. I can understand a move like that. You know, sometimes in this business, you've got to have someone that's got your back, and that's exactly what Orlov has in Bronson. Bronson's got Orlov's back. Peter Orlov, just like everybody else in FCW, knows that you've got to do whatever it takes because FCW is a direct conduit to a path to superstardom in WWE. All of these matches mean so much. Oh, man, what a kick to the jaw. Every time you sit foot in that squared circle, the eyes are upon you. And you've got to make every moment count, and I understand that, and so does Orlov. Right now, Orlov with a nice ankle lock on to Leaki. Ooh, Leaki's not gonna, not gonna give up. He's not gonna go down without a fight. There's no question in my mind on that. The short time we've seen Leaki in FCW, he has displayed true guts in certain situations. I mean, he fights from beneath. The odds are stacked against him, certainly due to his lack of experience, but he doesn't give up. Leaki. Oh, slams Orlov's face right into the canvas. But you see the lack of experience. I think Leaki should have followed up. No, Leaki had that well scouted, though. Orlov off the ropes. Up and oh, down. Oh, my goodness. What elevation Orlov got right there. Leaki displaying a little bit of personality. I don't know if he's taking too much time. No, oh, he hit a leg drop. Leaki has got Orlov reeling at this point. That may be inexperienced showing he's got to capitalize. Leaki picks going him up. Out the Samoan drop. 
That is Liaki's signature maneuver, and it's enough to put Orlov away. And here is your winner, Liaki. That is Liaki. I am impressed. I am impressed. Don't do it. What is James? Bro oh man. That's what he's out there for, Matt. He's the difference maker. He's out there for sour grapes. Orlov lost fair and square. This he's choking him out. He calls that the death wish three. This is a rear naked choke from James Bronson. A very, very dangerous maneuver. And the referees, thank goodness, are out to break this up, hopefully. But you see the struggle. James Bronson, a very powerful individual. Bronson's like a rabid animal. Just choking the life out of Leaki. Leaki, a former football player. You see, he is totally out. And James Bronson wants more of Leaki. It is taking four referees to hold James Bronson back and they're barely managing to do so. Leaki is out cold. We may need ne medical assistance for Leaki at this point. Orlov trying to talk some sense, I guess, into Bronson, that, but the damage has already been done. Leaki out cold. Orlov. And Bronson standing tall, even though Orlov lost the match, he may have won the war in this instance. Don't go anywhere, FCW will return right after this. The triple threat match set for one fall. And the winner will face Leo Kruger with the Florida Heavyweight Championship next week. Introducing first, from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 252 pounds, Leaki. Leaki calls himself the blessed one, and tonight could be the most blessed opportunity of his career. That's called putting it up. Put your hand up in the air. What does that do? That's how he draws strength from the members of the FCW universe. Oh, I'm glad you're explaining things like that to me. I wouldn't know you, sir. And his opponent, weighing in at 220 pounds, Dean Ambrose. Well, the unsane melody that is Dean Ambrose and a man you know very well, Mr. Regal. Dean Ambrose made a career of keeping the questions fresh about his mindset, about his intentions. By the way, Byron, have you had your evaluation from uh, the new doctor that we have? Uh, I want, uh, do you have his phone number for me? You've got to get what you can in my, my age, you know. You may want to talk to Abraham Watson about that one. Seth Rollins going through his psyching up phase, if you will. <laughs> Nonetheless, Rollins has proven time and time again to really be one of the most resilient superstars in all of FCW. It certainly has. I mean, you, like you say, you, you, you're sort of saying that in a mocking tone about his psyching up phase, but whatever works and whatever makes you successful, never knock success. Well, his resume will speak for itself. Former Florida Tag Team Champion, former FCW 15 Champion, and now an opportunity, an opportunity for any three of these men to earn a shot at the Florida Heavyweight Champion, Leo Kruger, next week. Well, let me, let me ask you this. Uh, what's the mentality that you like to have going into an environment such as a triple threat match. Well, hold on. Ambrose looking over here. Oh, hey, 
Rocky putting a quick end to that. Apparently, Dean Ambrose still not over the problems you had there, Will Queen Regal. I really like Dean Ambrose, you know. It, 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 it drags something out of me. So, I, I, a hatred that I haven't felt in, in many a year. It was something I, I was considering just just recently, actually, that my three sons, I, I, obviously, you know, the greatest thing in my life. But the one thing I, I'm very, the most proud of with, with all of them is that when I look into their eyes, I don't see me looking back at me. I don't see that twisted evil soul that I, I truly am looking at, back at me, and I know they've got a better chance in life than I ever had to, to stay from getting into trouble. But when I look into Dean Ambrose's eyes, I see exactly that. I see another twisted soul staring straight back at me, and I know his life is going to be nothing but mayhem and chaos, just like mine has been, and I think he's going to love every second of it just like I have. That's why we like each other. Oh, isn't that kind of We, we may say things, but that, that's, the, that's the point of it. it it's just, you know, we, 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 we will be foes for as long as I'm taking breath. That, 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 that's just the way it's going to be. Oh, it's as odd as that uh, analogy may be, uh, nonetheless. It may be odd to you. It's perfectly normal to me. Apparently so. It will be perfectly normal to Dean Ambrose. Right now, now look at what's going on here. Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins, who have been bitter rivals, are teaming up where they were. You were saying about reaching up before. It, it's funny because some people say that the only thing free in life is the grace of God. Well, when you, you like myself and Dean Ambrose, it's better to stay. Oh, oh hold on. Layaki's in big trouble here. Ambrose yeah, and Rollins united. This triple threat match continues. Welcome back to FCW Television, folks. If you're just joining us, this is a triple threat match. Layaki against Dean Ambrose against Seth Rollins. The winner of this match will go on to face Leo Kruger for the Florida Heavyweight Championship next week. So an incredible night for all three of these gentlemen because this is, this is the proving ground. This is where they have to shine. And incredibly difficult kind of match to, to try and shine in because it, you, you can't all the rules go out the window there is, you know there's no strategy that you can possibly make that it's not going to go wrong in a split second when you're in a triple threat because sometimes you try and rely on, on, on another one of your opponents to help you sometimes you know and obviously they're, they're going to they're going to turn on you that's just just the nature of the beast as i was saying before the break they say the only thing free in life is the grace of God. Well, when you're like myself and Dean Ambrose, it's better to say, stay faithless heathens, because your life is just full of, of, of wicked, evil, and twisted things. Dean, what a, what, a, what a wonderful, what a wonderful career Dean Ambrose will have. Such a cryptic well wish. Uh, but oh, and, and, well, just like that, he spoke too soon. A line has been broken. Dean Ambrose, they capture it all! So we thought, uh-oh. Ambrose might have been going for midnight special. Leaki, quick counter. There's one thing about Leaki that you can't, you know, his, his lack of experience. You can't take away the, just the star presence of the, of the young man. He's so, and, and his, oh. his family history as well. I mean, he's come from a, a family great professional wrestlers and so he's, he'll have grown up off cover here by Leaki. he will have grown up just listening to stories being schooled on the tricks of the game and, and you can't take that away so although he's only been here for what less than a year now he's got so all that, that knowledge in his brain that he's just got to put into practice Leaki, son of WWE Hall of Famer Sika right now uh oh Leaki was going for a checkmate. It looks like Ambrose just countered. Uh-oh. <laughs> you you got to be kidding me. Oh. <laughs> the regal stretch. I mean, have you gotten into Dean Ambrose's head that bad that he's using your own move? I'm glad that I have. Good for him. It's, it, it's won me many of a competition, so good for him. 
I, this this sick twisted connection yet this sick twisted connection may earn Dean Ambrose a shot at the Florida heavyweight title the only problem is Dean Ambrose is doing it and not William Regal that nobody would have escaped if I would have done that there. Uh, what Seth out of nowhere Seth Rollins comes flying in oh Ambrose flying prone, shoulders down. No. Picture perfect ac accuracy always by Seth Rollins. In fact, everything that Seth Rollins does, it's so well done and so calculated. Uh, it just, I'm always running out of terms to say you're the educated man, but you know, these fantastic just athletes and performers that these young men are. Oh! Face first counter by Ambrose. No. Oh. Shades of their classic FCW 15 battles. No love lost between these two men, regardless of the alliance we saw earlier. Someone like Richie Steamboat. Oh. Once again, Ambrose pulling down his... What? What is going on here? And you're applauding this. Ambrose is going for William Regal's knee trouble countered by Seth Rollins. My gosh. Ambrose prone in the corner. Seth Rollins trying to put on the final touches to earn himself a shot at the Florida Heavyweight Championship. I made it. I made it a definite priority of mine and just this new year that's just come and gone. What the? I made it a priority to, to take my children and, and, and to, to hope that they will forgive me for, for the sins that I will be committing against Dean Ambrose in the coming year. I, I hope they, that they really understand that and, and can truly forgive me. Because it's only a matter of time before we end up and one of us is going to go, and it'll probably, and I, I, I'm, I'm not saying this, I, I, this, you'll never hear this from another, another professional wrestler, it'll probably be me that will suffer for this in the end, but I can't help it. Dean Ambrose is obviously a lot younger man than me. What? Oh! A lot younger man and with a lot more going, you know, time on his hands, and so it'll be me that will, will come unstuck, but that's the way things go. This is the same man you just praised. No, I was praising him because he's obviously... A lot... Aoki tried to break it up, gets knocked out for his pleasure. Back to Ambrose and Rollins going tooth and nail. I'm praising him because I'm very impressed by him. But he's going to be my downfall, there's no doubt about that. Well, I wish you luck in uh, that endeavor. <laughs> Listen, you, when you've spent the life like I have, you know, it, just doing the things that I've done, you know it's going to get taken away from you one way or another whether it be in institution or, or some jail or or even in the electric chair. There's my electric chair Watch looking it. right and at Ambrose me. again, <laughs> and he connects. This could be it. Remember, a Florida heavyweight title shot is the opportunity. Midnight special. Ambrose has what? Whoa. No way. No. 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 My God. Samoan drop by Leaki, who has become unleashed. He's got him set up. Checkmate. Is this it? Leaki wins. And your winner, Leaki. My God. Now this is exactly what Leaki needed. This will be the stepping stone. Just showing the world, just showing the WWE Universe. Eventually, there we're looking at a future world champion, and, and I guarantee it'll be sooner than later. This is the confidence that this man needed to beat two incredible competitors like Dean, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. There's a man that will be a star within the next 12 months, believe me, a big, big star. Take another look at how it happened. We thought Leaki had been more or less taken out of this match. It was down to Ambrose and Rollins and Leaki out of the midnight special, able to hoist both men on his shoulders. Unbelievable feat of strength. 
Double Samoan drop, followed by the checkmate. And Leaki, next week, the biggest opportunity of his career will go one on one with Leo Kruger for the Florida Heavyweight Championship. People had Leaki on their radar before, now he's kicking their front door in. This is the man that will be a, a, a true, true superstar. But I have to go back. Very, very strange for me. Although Dean Ambrose is lying there on, on, on the canvas, I know that that man is going to be the man that will eventually be the end of William Reed. Well, folks, have you ever faced such a such a, a conflict in your life? I have not, but there is one conflict. I, wow. I came across some footage that was a little unusual, Mr. Regal, and uh, well, you know what? Let's just go ahead and take a look at it, and we'll discuss it later. Cracker Barrel. Now this is cheese. Corey Gray is really trying to chop Leaki down, but Leaki is not going to go down without a fight right now. Corey Gray floats over into an abdominal stretch. It's well applied. And Corey has well, been working on the midsection of Leaki this entire matchup. Matt, let me tell you something. I, and we talked about Corey. And I'm not so bad, I don't know if I would call it an upset if he was uh, to beat this young man. I mean, this guy, like you said, is uh, uh, internationally renowned all over. He knows what he's doing out there, and he seems to uh, have, uh, you know, had, had, had him in control, but there you go. There Corey you go, Graves, Corey. Quick as a whip, oh, but Leaki responds with a clothesline. Corey Graves cuts underneath and catches a chop from Leaki. Too much power, you got too much power. Leaki, oh man, Bulldog, right on the schnoz of Corey Graves, that could do it. Can Graves kick out? He does. It's schedule for one minute. Espera, espera, espera. No sé qué está haciendo aquí, pero. La última vez que chequeé, cállense. La última vez que chequeé, solamente hay una señora aquí. And with that, we have the WWE Hall of Famer, Howard Finkel. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that respect you, but shut up. But I wanted to, I, I wanted to just let you know of one thing. I want to let you know of one thing. This isn't 1990 anymore. This is 2011, which means that you're no longer relevant. Besides, besides, there is only one person. Shut up! There is only one person here worthy of announcing my name, and that, of course, is myself. So if you want to get that hairless cap of yours and just go over to the corner while I do my job, we can get this show on the road, can we? Y con eso dicho, aquí les presento. A la cara y la voz de la WWE, yo soy Ricardo Rodriguez. Now that is how to ring an ounce. What a jerk. What are no. you talking about? He just interrupted the thing. His opponent from Pensacola, Florida, weighing 250 pounds, Leoki. That's how you do a ring announcement right there. That's how you do it, Ricardo. And I think, Mr. Rodriguez, that man right there, Leaki, is going to show you how to have a match. Leaki is one of the blue chippers, one of the standouts here in FCW. Ricardo might have just thrown a check his butt can't cast, running his mouth like he always does. Just look at Leaki. It's just the presence that this man carries with him. It's just superstar written all over him. Not my work. One of these days, this place will be hanging here in FCW one of these banners, and one of these days, that man will be a champion in the WWE. Leaki, I gotta say, has been impressing FCW and WWE officials left and right. What a prospect this young man is, and he's just a couple of months out of his rookie year. This man's only been competing for about 14, 15 months here in FCW, and already he's just 
really kicked the door down, impressed everybody. But you and have to remember, Matt, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but you have to remember his family lineage. I mean, he comes from a long line of competitors, and, and so it's ingrained into him. He's just born with, I hate to say that term, it's in his blood, but it is. So he's going to have a, 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 a head start on anybody else that started at the same time as him. Covered by Lea Key under Ricardo, who kicks out, and Ricardo almost got pinned once again. I don't want to take away from the in-ring skills of Ricardo Rodriguez. I'm not like no, the guy. He's very you, talented. You cannot discount the fact Ricardo. Oh! Ricardo very savvy and what a maneuver moving out of the way of that elbow drop. Probably saved Ricardo's hide right there. And a kick out of nowhere right to the jaw on Leaki. Did you see the eyes, the, the, the spite in the eyes of Howard Finkel? No! Wow! I did see the spite in the eyes, and the eyes of Leaki might kick? be glazed over. Wow. Hook of the leg, Ricardo does not get the job done, but I think he stopped Leaki right in his tracks. Don't ever underestimate Ricardo Rodriguez. This man is an incredibly skilled competitor. You know, yeah, everybody looks at his silly face and, 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 he, and the way he dresses. No, I mean, he's got one of those faces you never get fed up with slapping, hasn't he? Absolutely. But, but He's a very skilled young man. Leaki just kicks out right there. And Ricardo is hanging out with former WWE champion Alberto Del Rio on exactly. a daily basis. Daily I mean, this basis. guy trains with Alberto. Ricardo drives Alberto around. Ricardo's who, do you, who do you think when Alberto Del Rio trains daily, not only in, in the gymnasium, but also in the ring, who do you think he trains with? It's Ricardo. It's Ricardo, because he's the only person that he speaks to. So, Ricardo is going to get all that knowledge just drummed into him. We can't help but be good. Testament to the in ring ability right now of Ricardo that he's got Leaki literally on the ropes. Very Ricardo. partial to his ring attire. Well. I wish I could get away with something like that. Neck breaker and Ricardo hooks the leg right now. Leaki rolls his shoulder up. There was a mistake by Ricardo, though. You can't possibly pin a man at the stature of, of Leaki by just lazily draping over you. I mean, he should know better than that. I'm sure Alberto Del Rio wouldn't have possibly tried to cover Leaki. No! Like that. Job buster from Leaki and Ricardo Rodriguez got his mouth shut in a hurry right there, which I'm sure pleased Howard Finkel, but Ricardo responds with a drop kick and takes Leaki right down. Ricardo going for a cover here. It's like a little ferret, isn't he? He is, like and he's just got, all over he's the got place. a little rodent-like maneuverability. Like a rat hole he is. <laughs> Oh. Can't argue with you on that point. Ricardo and Leaki both fighting for prestige here at FCW, and you see the banner surrounding the ring right now of past Florida heavyweight champions. That's what it's all about. Every time you step in the ring here at FCW, it's an opportunity to climb the ladder. Leaki looks like he might be going for the Samoan drop. No, not gonna happen. Ricardo floats back down. Leaki reverses. Baseball slide from Ricardo. Oh man, what a shot right to the face. Ricardo up. Ducks underneath that shot. Oh, Leak, he just floored Ricardo. Leak, he's setting up right now. Ricardo taking a lot of punishment. Knee lift. Very reminiscent of Mr. Wrestling 2 there. Well, Leak taking a lot of time right now, and I don't agree with that. He hit that knee lift and took what could be too much time trying to get another Samoan drop. Ricardo holds on to the ropes. Oh, Ricardo thrown to the, almost to the outside. Shoulder block, Ricardo. Looks like he's going for a sunset flip. No, floats all the way over. Springboard, oh, got caught with the forearm. One of Leaki's patented maneuvers. Hook of the leg, can Ricardo kick out? The answer is no. Here is your winner. Leoki! We have got to take another look at that one. Ricardo utilizing some great quickness and agility at the closing moments of these, this match, but Leoki just too powerful with that forearm cut Ricardo right between the eyes. More importantly than the explosive energy and the power, though, is an incredible elbow right to the chin, and that will knock any man out. And Leoki puts him up, as does the rest of the FCW universe. And tonight we're going to find out